So when it comes to video projectors, the mystique is, is that they're big, bulky, and clumsy. Well, that's a thing of the past. Nowadays, they're getting smaller, more compact, mobile, and they still look good. Hey, what's going on? It's Low for Low Nose, back at you with another Tech Take. And today, my friends, is the Klokoe video projector, a 1080p projector that's very small and mobile. Now, in this video, we're going to do an open box. We're going to take a look at the projector, the ports, the features that it comes with. Take a look at the menu system, check out the quality, the sound, and so forth. And I'll give you my final thoughts on it. So let's get straight to the unboxing. Straight into it. Now, you're going to be surprised how small this projector is. And it's already so small, even with the packaging right here. Look at that. Even with, <laughs> it still looks small compared to so many other projectors. All right, let's take it out. Off to the side, and of course we have our instruction, our user manual, of course, our quick start guide. So make sure you take a look at that. And of course we have the star of the show, our Klokoe projector. Look how small this guy is. In front you've got your lens element, really tiny lens element, of course. Now this goes from about 30 inches to 100 inches. So yes. I don't think there's a lot of reasons why you should go over go over 100, but this is great for that, especially when those uh, in, within a small setting, like a small office like this, a bedroom, uh, nothing too big. Uh, so you got the element, you've got an IR receiver on the front and the back on the side, you've got your ports, a headphone jack or external speaker adapters. So you can get better sound compared to the speakers here. An AV port for legacy devices, such as composite video, a USB port so you can connect a USB stick that has media such as videos or music or photos, you can connect it there so you can play the media off that. Um, and also a TV stick as well, so you can power TV stick through the USB power. Um, HDMI ports, of course, you can connect your TV stick or maybe a gaming system through HDMI, any device that has HDMI, and of course your power port as well. And you've got your speakers and vents on the sides that you can see right here. On the bottom, you've got your mounting trend, and of course, soft rubber feet, so you can give it some space off the ground. And of course, you've got your ports on the top, power, okay button, and S, we'll find out what that means forward uh back forward and of course the back button oh, left right and of course the back button as well and again look how small this projector is right here <laughs> man it's so small all right let's see what we got as far as accessories go all right so our accessories uh we've got our remote standard remote okay uh we've got our power adapter two power our projector we've got an hdmi cord as well standard hdmi cord and of course your composite video adapters to connect those legacy devices such as like a dreamcast or a sega saturn or a nintendo or something like that or maybe a vcr vcr what yeah legacy devices and you've got this little thing here so you can put it at an angle if you like there you go all right Oh, and of course I forgot this. There you go. And your focusing dial right here. All right. Uh, so let's set this bad boy up and let's take a look and see just how cool the Klokoe video projector is. All right, we're all set and ready to go. If I had to guess, we're probably simulating a 45 inch screen right now with the projector. Um, also a separate note, um, when it comes to these smaller mobile projectors, usually you get a, a shorter cord when it comes to the AC adapter and that's not changing here. The cord is a bit shorter, so I have it connected to an extension cord just to have it set up in my office at this point. Um, I'm guessing it's because since it is a mobile projector, they're expecting it to be, you know, right you know, within your office, right next to your wall or somewhere. Um, you're not really setting this in a, in, a, in a living room or something like that where you need a longer cord. So just keep that in mind. Again, we're in my office and this is setting up just fine. All right, so let's go through the menu options. I've got my remote right here. And we're, we're gonna go through it. Of course, you have your main uh, settings right here, your movie, your music, your text and your photo. These you will access by connecting USB stick into the, into the projector and then viewing the contents from there. Of course, you have your setup menu. You have your setup menu, your HDMI, AV, and of course your help. Uh, we'll go briefly through the setup, but we'll shoot, we'll see uh, more of it when we actually get into a video. Your picture, uh, picture mode standards, you can do your color temperature, your aspect ratio. Uh, you would wanna go into this maybe for, again, you were going to legacy devices and they put out a four by three format, such as like an older video game system, like a Genesis or a Super Nintendo or, or um, you know, like a Dreamcast you would do four by three or just put on auto and would auto detect the signal coming to the projector, but we'll leave it by 16 by nine uh, right now. 
Uh, of course, you do your projecting mode. We can, you know, depending on how you're setting a projector, you can set it up. And you have a zoom mode, and we'll look at that a little further down the line. Now, let's go straight into our HD. I have my uh, my TV stick connected to it, and we can actually get ready to go and see what's going on. I love using these HD, these YouTube HD videos, these 4K videos with HDR to really get a good example of what these projectors can do as far as the, the colored vividness, the color saturation, the brightness of the image, especially with images that pop just like this. And as you can see right now, um, this projector is doing really well. The Klokoe is giving, delivering a nice, good, detailed, sharp image uh, from what we see. And I just have this uh, projecting to my wall, not a screen, and I'm still getting some nice detail as you can see. Um, as well. Now let me go back into the menu so you can see um, this is pretty cool when it comes to the zoom. Right now it's at 100. I'm going to go the exact opposite. Let's go to 25 and look how small that, oh man, look how small the picture gets. This is really cool and we want to of course we can scale all the way up. Let's try at 50 halfway. Look at yeah, it's just getting bigger and then we'll go all the way back to 100. And yeah, and we can see what that looks like uh, right there. Again, this is so convenient, again, especially if you're in an office or a bedroom and you just need the space. It's really great to have that zoom feature so you can just really put this, so, uh, so you can really tie it into a nice uh, tight corner for yourself so you can view it. Uh, let's check out some movie trailers because again, I love doing the YouTube videos, but let's see the, the cool movie trailers and let's see what your content or your actual movies would look like, look like when it comes to these videos. Yeah, and when it comes to movies, it looks just as good, just as impressive. Uh, let's take a look at what the actual uh, picture mode gives. So this is standard, and we'll cycle through that soft, uh, user mode, vivid, and then standard. And as I go through, normally I like to put vivid, uh, but when I'm going through with this projector, it's standard and vivid, I'm getting more of a lighter picture quality when it comes to vivid. Uh, normally, uh, vivid gives you a more color popping uh, experience, but I'm, I'm getting more of that color popping experience from the actual standard version. So yeah, but again, movies are looking nice and bright, uh, nice and sharp. If there's one thing I would say is, you know, with, with any of these mobile projectors, um, usually light output is an issue. So if I were to turn the lights in here, we would probably lose some of the saturation, which I'll do right now. Let me turn the light on. And you see right away, we lose some of the, the color saturation. Uh, you can definitely still see it, but of course you get the best experience when actually the light is, uh, when the light is actually off. Uh, now let's talk about the sound. Right now it's been mute the entire time. We're actually hearing the fan coming from the projector. Um, it's not really loud, but of course, once we turn on the speakers, I'm sure the, the, the noise of the fan will be less obtrusive. So let's start actually bringing up the volume. And if you can hear it on my microphone right now, we're about 50% of the way. Then we'll go all the way to 100. And now we're at 100% on the volume of it. So yeah. And we're back to mute right there. And if you ask me, the speakers get pretty loud, loud enough to actually go over the fan of the projector. And of course, don't forget, you can actually connect external speakers to make this even louder. Now, let's try some fun stuff. I'm gonna connect my Nintendo Switch to this and we'll see how what kind of fun we can have when it comes to gaming. And this is what it looks like and most importantly, feels like. I can tell you, uh, normally when it comes to video projectors, you might expect a bit of a delay when it comes to the handling of the game, but there is no delay when it comes to the comes to this projector. So this is a great projector when it comes to small mobile convenient gaming, especially in your office or your bedroom. The picture still looks great, nice and colorful, vivid and sharp. Um, yeah, and of course I can make the screen bigger or smaller, however I want to just really suit my needs. Again, especially for what this projector is offering and the convenience, the mobility. Um, my only knock or um, if I just had to say something, I wish it were a bit brighter, uh, but, it is, but as it is right now for, for a value projector, you cannot go around with a Chloe 1080p HD projector. Um, no fuss, it just gives you a nice picture, loud sound, and yeah, ease and convenience and there's nothing complicated about it. All right guys, again, that's the Chloe 1080p HD projector, video projector. Really hopes this help you out and make your decision. Enjoy.
As always, I'll leave links in the description down below so you can pick up your own Klokoe video projector. Hey guys, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any future videos. Hit that like if you like what's going on here and also ding that notification so you can be notified for future videos as well. Again, guys, thank you so much for stopping by. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.